The effect of this surface is remarkable. It looks like thousands of fish scales, and then you only have to start moving, and it all looks like it's changing colour. It is stunning. It happens because titanium reflects light in an unusual way, the same way as bubbles do. White light, as we all know, is made up of lots of different colours, all the colours of the rainbow. That's where they come from. And when it strikes either a bubble or the titanium surface of the Guggenheim, some of it is reflected back straight away off the skin. That's the oxide layer in the case of the museum. Some of it is reflected from further down. And those different reflections can interfere with one another. Some light reflects from the outside surface of the bubble. Some passes through to the inner surface and is reflected from there. When the two reflected beams cross paths, some light gets cancelled out. And if you take away some light from white light, you see coloured light instead. Where I can see yellow on the surface of the bubble or the museum, the blue wavelengths are being cancelled out. Where I see green, the magenta wavelengths are being cancelled out, and so on. It is really rather beautiful and can be used to great artistic effect.